Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jason with devslips.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to access your server, the droplet that we just created. So to do this, we're gonna use the terminal. So go ahead and pull open your terminal or command line. I'm still in my SSH folder. Okay, and we've got our keys in here. Now to access your server, you can be anywhere. Um, I'm just gonna do it from in here, just for fun, because I want to reference uh, my private key here. So to access the server, you're gonna type in SSH-I. This allows us to grab a key that we wanna use, and we're going to access our server with our private key, which is going to match up and authenticate to the public key, the matching public key on our droplet. And then we haven't assigned any users to our droplet. We're ac accessing this as an admin, so we're gonna add root at, and then we're gonna put the IP address. So in your droplets, I've just clicked on droplets here, and come over to IP address, click copy, and you can paste that, and hit enter. Now it's telling us that it can't, uh, that this is a new fingerprint, that it doesn't recognize this, and if we wanna continue. Heck yes, we do. So go ahead and type in yes, and we have now accessed our server. So right here, root at test droplet. Okay, that's the name of our droplet. So very cool stuff. So we have accessed our server. Now I'm gonna go ahead and type in clear. And I'm just gonna show you around a little bit in here. And what's really cool is you can actually navigate through your server the same way you would on your computer. So if I did cd forward slash, we could list out uh, some of the directories and files in here. And we can dive a little bit deeper and list out those. And uh, yeah, so you can navigate through your server the same way that you would any directories on your computer. And that is how simple it is to access your server through SSH.